All right, good morning. Uh, welcome. It's uh, April 4th, 2018, and it, you know, things just keep happening, right? So here we are on a five minute. I want to make this really fast, but to the point and uh, understand that I am not into news. I don't care what got us here. What I care about is seeing that the structure of it still makes sense to me. All right. So if we can stay in this range and we push up into this, this green area here at 2583 to. 2593 about a 10 point uh, spread in here this is where i would potentially add on to my puts if we're going to continue in this down uh phase that we uh, started overnight all right lis is at 2610 know that once we get in this box we could have resistance here at 2605 same spot as yesterday so it's sort of weak and so that way you know i put t2 here at the lis all right um, i'm going to show you a bigger candle here going into one hour things look a little bit different one thing to take note here this is why for me I don't get too stressed out okay always bigger picture we are creating higher lows until this low over here 2552 is broken then we can say hey we're gonna go back and we're gonna test the lows of February that's what I'm thinking all right so let's talk about targets real quick to the upside remember this is potential add to shorts uh, for you guys, you understand that we are net long, but we have uh, puts to protect the account. And if we can add, it will be right in this area here. Okay. Uh, if we break this this area, then I expect T1 here at uh, roughly 2600, T2 at the LIS, and T3 at 2627. All right. That pretty much puts us in uh, that area of a 50 point move, uh, although we've moved uh, 40 points overnight. Okay. Uh, to the downside, we literally came down and kissed our T2 target from yesterday and bounced from there as expected. And again, higher lows here until it's not. And once that higher low, um, once this pivot low here is broken, then you can expect down here at T3 at uh, 2528. All right, bigger picture here. Nice little hammer forming out of there on the four hour. All right, this did not mean to be there. Your next target after T3 breaks, all right, as awesome as it may sound, is that we're looking at the 50, which for me would be 2451. Huge difference here, right? But I don't want you to forget about this number, okay? It's a big number. T3, 240. So 2406, this is why we put on those lottos that expire on Monday, okay? Just in case, this guy is really fresh. This to me is where the price overall could end up going, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at this. I love numbers. Did this come into 88.7 of our wick here. Well, let's take a look. Let's grab that wick. Let's go up to the range here that we're looking at. Pivot high. Look at that. Pretty impressive. Okay, so this is why for me, it makes sense of what it's doing. All right, another thing here, we added to 2020. Don't get stressed out about that, guys. Just remember 660 something days to go all right we look for uh we look for uh chances to add to that position today could be one of those dates we'll see uh bless you guys we're gonna have a wonderful day and uh if you guys have any questions just dm me or you can uh use the chat to uh, ask questions as well i'll be looking at a potential so we're going to be looking at a different way of going into today if things don't turn around where do we go short that's where you should be asking yourself, okay? You can also just push the button, boom, and buy puts, or we can look to buy puts and sell zones for various stocks. I wanna look for the stocks that could give us the biggest returns, um, and those could be um, BA, uh, CAT, things like that, if we wanna get on the put side of some of those, okay? All right, you guys have a great morning. See you uh, here shortly.